Howdy, YouTube, and all me lads and lasses. It's Muggle Grimlockable. And it's time for another alcohol review. Elegant bastard ale. You're not worthy, lad. <clears throat> it's 7.2 in seven alcohol volume. This is an aggressive beer. You probably won't like it. It is quite doubtful that you have the taste or sophistication to be able to appreciate an ale of this quality and depth. We would suggest that you stick to a safer and more familiar territory. Maybe something with a multi-million dollar ad campaign. Wow. These guys are fucking arrogant. Continue. <clears throat> Maybe something with a multi-million dollar ad campaign aimed at convincing you it's made in a little brewery or one that implies that their tasteless fizzy yellow beer will give you more sex appeal. Giggity. <clears throat> Perhaps you think multi-million dollar ad ca campaigns make a beer taste better. Perhaps you're mouthing your words as you read this, idiots. We believe that, pa that pandering to the lowest common dem uh, demeanor represents the height of tyranny, a virtual form of keeping the consumer barefoot and stupid. Brought forth upon an unsuspecting public in 1997, elegant bastard ale openly challenged the tyrannical overlords who were bronzily attempting to keep Americans chained in its shackles of poor taste. Since the very beginning, Ar arrogant bastard ale has revealed in its unprecedented and uncompromising celebration of intensity. There has been many nods of arrogant bastard ale, even outright attempts to copy it, but only one can ever embody the true nature of liquid, liquid arrogance. Wow. And look how cool this little guy is. That's freaking awesome. Anyway, uh, time to rate this bad boy. Whoa. This, it, it, it's got a really strong hop aroma, but it's different. It's not overwhelming like most. It's really subtle. It, it, it's kind of like if Oktoberfest had an IPA. That's actually awesome. Well, let's rate this bad boy because I'm, I'm dying to try it. Oh, wow, man. Holy crap. It's like Satan's diarrhea. Look how dark this shit is. And it's got a really thick caramel white foam head. It's a really, really very awesome dark blackened amber. It's got a little carbonation. Well, I'm ready to try this. Cheers, YouTube. R. Arrogant the bastard, will you marry me? Yes. Uh, I was just kidding. No, you're my no fuck sex. No. This is really awesome. Coincidentally, me saying it kind of smells like Oktoberfest. It literally does taste like an Oktoberfest with a, a little bit extra IPA hop notes. It's really awesome. It's not overbearing either. Like usually when you swallow an IPA, it leaves that pungent taste in your throat, back of your tongue. Not this. This is really fucking awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and rate this. Uh, and I'm point seven, and I highly, really recommend this. Like, this is freaking awesome. Like, I'm going to try to see if I can find more Arrogant Bastards, different flavors and stuff to recommend and, and rate for you guys. But, um, yeah, like, this is freaking awesome. Like, this is in my top ten favorite unique beers. I really like this. I actually do. I enjoy it. It's really smooth. Well, you two, me mateys and lasses and lads, I'm gonna go pillage a village. And I'm out from back in arm in the next video to show you. Until then, peachy arrogant bastards.